Dear ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to express gratitude to the organizers for uh, restart of Caspian Oil and Gas Show after two years break due to the pandemic. And I'm glad that today we have uh, our guests from all over the world. And uh, I hope that discussions during the Oil and Gas Show and uh, Baku Energy Week will strengthen dialogue on such an important issues as energy security and diversification of energy resources. Um, Azerbaijan uh, invested in its own energy security during the years of independence and provided fully uh, demands for domestic market and also is playing more and more important role for energy security of growing number of countries. This was not the case in the early years of our independence. And I'd like also to mention that uh, Caspian Oil and Gas uh, Exhibition and Conference, which uh, already is taking place for 27 time, uh, played a very important role in attracting uh, attention of uh, global energy players to Azerbaijan, the country at that time newly independent with a lot of uh, difficulties, with big part of its territory under occupation and uh, facing a lot of challenges. Therefore, the role of uh, organizers of Caspian Oil and Gas Show really was very important in order to attract attention and also to attract investments. And from the very first uh, year of Holding this conference, Azerbaijan announced its openness for the world. We announced that we want to see Caspian Sea as an area of cooperation and investment. And the first international investments to the Caspian oil and gas fields was done by us and our partners. But at that time, as I said, energy security was not fully provided. There have been shortages of electricity, of gas supply, blackouts. So we really started to work hard in order to provide our own energy security, and that was done. At the same time, in parallel, we were actively working with uh, international investors, leading energy companies of the world, in order to increase production of oil and uh, deliver it to international markets. And in the end of last century, I think the remarkable event took place. Uh, first oil pipeline from Azerbaijan to Georgian Black Sea Coast, Supsa, was inaugurated. And that allowed us to start export and to start supplying the needs of uh, many more countries. Uh, at the same time, we uh, jointly with our partners uh, worked on uh, gas exploration fields, particularly Chardonnay, which is one of the biggest gas fields uh, in the world. And uh, in 2007, uh, Bakut Bilisi Erzurum gas pipeline was inaugurated, and that was the first time when Azerbaijani gas started to be exported to the regional markets of Turkey and Georgia. A year before that, in 2006, we managed to construct, at that time it was considered, and still I think is a remarkable event, Bakut Bilisi Jehan oil pipeline, which connected Caspian Sea with Mediterranean Sea, and was a new um, route and a new source of oil to international market. And since that time, uh, Bakut Bilisi Jehan and all other energy transportation infrastructure of Azerbaijan is working without any disruption. And this, of course, is demonstration of uh, predictability, reliability, and also demonstrates that uh, we're capable to implement such a huge uh, infrastructure project. Uh, difficult from technical, financial point of view, and also uh, these projects were implemented in a very complicated political environment. So that was actually the um, important milestone in the issues related to regional energy security. And of course, it strengthened 
the regional cooperation between Azerbaijan and its neighbors, Turkey and Georgia. But uh, our plans were bigger than that, and of course we wanted to be able to uh, develop huge uh, gas reserves of Azerbaijan. For that, of course, we needed a new pipeline. Uh, the pipeline, I would say, of the 21st century, Southern Gas Corridor. And uh, Southern Gas Corridor's uh, successful completion uh, at the last day of uh, 2020 demonstrates our common will, demonstrates that we can work as a team and we can achieve great success. So integrated pipelines system uh, uh, of 3.5 thousand kilometers, crossing many countries, going on the seabed and climbing to high mountains is a demonstration of our potential and our friendship. Uh, therefore, the energy projects which were initiated by Azerbaijan and at early stage created a framework for regional cooperation now um, transformed into a global energy project. Southern Gas Corridor um, is a project which we can be proud of. And at the same time, it allows us to uh, increase production from a huge uh, Chardonnay gas condensate field. And it happens. And uh, it's uh, only one year and five months that Azerbaijan is using this uh, brand new modern infrastructure to transport its gas reserves. But already the um, expansion of uh, our presence on European continent with our natural resources is something which is needed for us and for our partners. Uh, we managed to increase the production and our export. Uh, last year, Azerbaijan exported uh, 22 billion cubic meters of natural gas. This year, the projection is 24, and the next year it will be even more. Uh, there can be different figures uh, depending on the activity of uh, production and also on activation of other fields which uh, are situated in Azerbaijani sector of the Caspian Sea, because our gas potential is not limited only with Chardonnay. Other fields also are very promising. Uh, some of them will start production next year. So that will be important contribution to uh, energy security, especially now when the demand for Azerbaijani hydrocarbons is more than ever before. And uh, we, as a responsible country, take that into account and we try to support countries which, due to d different reasons, face difficulties. And uh, now corresponding structures of Azerbaijan are in permanent contact with growing number of countries. When we were working on the implementation of Southern Gas Corridor, we established a very uh, close cooperation with countries through the territory of which the pipeline crosses and also international financial institutions and, of course, uh, energy companies and uh, governments uh, of leading countries and also European Commission. So annual meeting of the Southern Gas Corridor Advisory Council, which takes place every February in Baku, is a clear example of this teamwork. And uh, when uh, this February, February 4th, we had uh, the annual meeting of Southern Gas Corridor Advisory Council, we actually thought that biggest part of our plans have already been implemented. Southern Gas Corridor already in operation. Now we need only to work how to um, build new bridges, how to build new connections, interconnectors, and how to expand our presence on European gas market. But of course now, when we speak on the 1st of June, situation is completely different. 
and the demand for Azerbaijani gas uh, grows rapidly. And of course, we need to take that into account, but at the same time, our potential consumers should also understand that it is not possible to extract large volumes of gas within one year. For that, we need contracts, we need to start uh, and to speed up negotiations. We need, of course, to work with our traditional partners, investors, energy companies in order to increase the production. And also we need to expand the existing facilities. That was something which we did not plan in the coming years because Southern Gas Corridor, as I said, is integrated pipeline system consisting of three pipelines. And uh, the last segment of it, Trans-Adriatic Pipeline's capacity is 10 billion cubic meters. So now we think about expansion so because there is a demand for that. And that, of course, will take time, take uh, a lot of financial resources, and also close coordination, cooperation, and active dialogue with all countries involved. And we are ready for that. Minister of Energy of Azerbaijan and Sokar already got all my instructions, and they're in the process of active negotiations. And by the way, Baku Energy Week will be an excellent opportunity because we have guests, high-ranking officials from many countries to address these important issues. At the same time, of course, we need to continue our active dialogue with uh, members of uh, Southern Gas Corridor uh, team, including governments. Of course, I'd like to express gratitude to the governments of Turkey, Georgia, Bulgaria, Greece, Albania, Italy, countries, uh, participants of the Southern Gas Corridor for their active cooperation. And uh, taking into account that there are now new challenges and new demands, of course, we are already in negotiations with other potential consumers. But for that, of course, uh, only our efforts will not be sufficient. There must be investments in infrastructure in Europe, in building new interconnectors, and of course, agreeing on the terms, because uh, as we all know, in a gas business, you first sell the gas, sign the contract, and then start to invest and extract. But uh, all what I say is just to um, give, how to say, uh, outlook from our point of view. But at the same time, we will do everything what we can to speed up the process, and it already started. Uh, I'd like to express also gratitude to uh, the governments of the United States and United Kingdom, our great supporters throughout all the time of our energy uh, policy and performance. And with the great support, uh, we managed to achieve these results. I'd like also to express gratitude to international financial institutions, World Bank, EBRD, Asian Development Bank, uh, EIB, Asian Infrastructure and Investment Banks, all those banks which financed Southern Gas Corridor, and I hope will uh, also provide financial support to implementation of our new plans, particularly expansion of TAP. And also, we can also think about uh, expansion of TANAP, because as I said already, the demand for Azerbaijani gas is growing. The potential is here, uh, political will is here, therefore we should not uh, waste time. Uh, we should bring uh, our capacity of our infrastructure to the potential level of transportation of natural gas. Therefore, not only TAP will need expansion, rapid expansion, but also South Caucasus pipeline and TANAP. So we are working on that. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, fruitful cooperation between Azerbaijan and European Commission also played a very important role in implementation 
of Southern Gas Corridor project and will play important role in implementation of our future plans. We are in permanent contact with the European Commission on that. And uh, as a result of uh, discussions which took place in the beginning of February this year in Baku between uh, Energy Commissioner of EU and our Minister of Energy, we established a dialogue, energy dialogue between EU and Azerbaijan. Agenda is very broad, of course traditional. Uh, issues like oil, gas, at the same time electricity, renewables, uh, hydrogen, and energy efficiency. So I think that this broad range of issues uh, and the uh, active cooperation on these issues will allow us to uh, have more gas for export. Because our next plan on our agenda, which already in the process of implementation, is renewables. And Azerbaijan, I think, uh, demonstrates excellent performance. First, because we already proved ourselves as a reliable country, as a country which uh, respects its obligations. I'd like to say that since 1994, when the first contract, PSA contract, was signed with foreign companies, until today, not a single word was changed in the contracts. And that also demonstration of our position. We respect our obligations and also want our partners to respect their obligations. Therefore, credibility was an important factor. Second, of course, stability, political and economic stability in Azerbaijan. Uh, and of course, uh, excellent performance, building the uh, infrastructure for oil, for gas, for electric lines. By the way, Azerbaijan is exporting not only oil and gas, but also electricity. Uh, huge potential, uh, experience. All these factors played an important role in attracting major energy companies to invest in renewables. And this year, already, we had two groundbreaking ceremonies with uh, leading energy companies, Aqua Power and Mazdar, and, uh, and now the construction of two, uh, one wind and one solar power plants, total capacity of 470 megawatts is already underway. And next year, these two power plants will be commissioned. And this is only the beginning, because we already uh, are in active phase of negotiations with many leading energy companies on renewables. We have huge potential in the Caspian Sea, which has been already evaluated. And according to information which uh, I was given, the capacity and potential of Azerbaijani sector of the Caspian Sea is 150,000 megawatts. So this is a huge volume. At the same time, a great potential is uh, now on the territories which have been liberated as a result of the Second Karabakh War, particularly in Kalbajar and Lachin and other uh, areas. And we estimate this potential around 9 to 10,000 megawatts, only wind and sun. But if we add hydro, which is also great potential, that can be another uh, probably 1,000 megawatt or more. And all that now is uh, seriously addressed by our government. And the more we have international investments on renewables, the more natural gas we will save for export. This is natural. So combination of all these factors, and of course, uh, including the energy efficiency and reduction of losses uh, in our uh, transportation system, all that will add to uh, increase of uh, gas exports from Azerbaijan. And this is our target, and we, I'm sure, will achieve this goal, because so far, everything what we planned, not only in oil and gas uh, business. Everything what our government planned, we achieved. And achieved with maximum degree of uh, efficiency. So now, uh, traditional Caspian oil and gas 
exhibition and, and conference and now Baku Energy Week, of course, will address all these important issues. Oil supplies, how to increase oil supplies, because now uh, Azerbaijan also uh, is providing important transit facilities for other countries, and um, this potential also uh, can be used to maximum degree. Unfortunately, it was not used to the maximum degree. Unfortunately, uh, the potential of Azerbaijan as an important transit country was underestimated by potential suppliers. But uh, I think now uh, they change their mind because everybody understands that diversification is one of the important factors of energy security. And we worked on diversification from the very first day of our energy strategy. Therefore, we have diversified export routes, free oil pipelines to different directions, four gas pipelines to different directions, uh, electric lines, and we export electricity to four neighboring countries and plan to export electricity to Europe. And for that, we want also to activate the Zengezur corridor, which uh, could be important transportation route, not only for cargos, but also for electricity. We are working on that and already started practical investment. So diversification for all is important. Therefore, I think now uh, those uh, who underestimated the potential of Azerbaijan as a reliable transitor now will change their mind. And we see initial hints of that. And we are ready. We are ready to help everyone who needs help. We are ready. Because we have political will. Our policy always is aimed at building bridges, strengthening uh, cooperation. And plus, we have infrastructure. We have brand new seaport. We have railroads connecting us with all destinations highways, uh, number of international airports after we complete free international airports construction, one already has been completed, in the liberated territories will be nine. So, and geographical location. So transit potential of Azerbaijan also should be taken into account while we are planning our future plans with respect to oil and gas cooperation. And of course, uh, what I'm saying is, of course, important for our international partners. Uh, I'd like also to um, underline the importance of strategic partnership between SOCAR and BP. BP is our strategic partner and uh, leading investor in oil and gas. And I'm very glad that BP also shows interest in renewables. And now SOCAR and BP are discussing the construction of uh, a solar power station in liberated Jabrail district. The capacity will be more than 200 megawatts. I hope soon we will have good results. And also the future plans, because future plans, which I said, uh, will not be possible to implement without uh, cooperation with uh, our traditional energy partners. And of course, we are ready to cooperate with every company, with every country, uh, which also wants to be with us on this important uh, time when geopolitical situation in the world is completely different from it, what it was several months ago. But at the same time, uh, all that, what um, I'm saying now, is important also for our uh, internal development and energy factor, energy diplomacy and projects, they strengthen our economic potential. They allow us to rechannel the funds which we accumulate from oil and gas sales to non-energy sector of our economy in parallel with uh, very, uh, I would say, brave uh, economic reforms. And we see the results. I can just give several figures of this year. Our GDP this year grew 7.2%. And um, in non-oil sector, more than 11%. Uh, 
non-oil uh, industry more than 15 percent. So these are all the uh, reflection of reforms and also rechanneling the funds which we uh, accumulated. In other words, diversification not only for energy supplies, but diversification for our economy. And we are achieving that. And today, business climate in Azerbaijan, I think, is absolutely uh, a good example of how it should be. And um, today, Azerbaijan is one of the countries which is very attractive for foreign investments. Because, as I said before, first, we have great experience in oil and gas. We uh, value our uh, partnership with traditional companies. We never violated any word in the contract which we signed. We enjoy rapid development. And of course, reconstruction in Karabakh and Zengizur will add uh, economic potential. And of course, a very low uh, foreign debt, which is only 12.5% of GDP, also creates good uh, economic environment. Uh, we can attract more loans. We just don't do it because we don't need it. We want to reduce uh, foreign debt to GDP down to 10%. That was my instructions to our government. But in the meantime, when we see, or if we see, that there are projects of global importance, and the projects are important for Azerbaijan, of course, we will ask our traditional partners, leading financial institutions, to help us. We have already great experience in Southern Gas Corridor and other projects. And we missed this great event, which, as already was said, is the leading international energy event in the region. And I like once again to express gratitude to our guests for being with us and wish Baku Energy Week success. Thank you.